hello students now we are going to discuss about the evaluation of crude drugs right so there are two types of guidelines has been given in the syllabus of the unit 4 herbal drug technology that is the who guidelines and ich guidelines for assessment of herbal drugs right so when we talk about who what the who is because uh, let me uh, go through this uh, if you try to find out in the different types of notes and uh, other books uh, there are so many things has been given in the name of who or ics guidelines for assessment of herbal drug but those are not authenticate answer let me tell you those who have given this who with the by downloading from the who website or with the authentic book then only it may be right so here i have compiled some things uh, which is uh, on the base of pharmaceutical assessment and the crude plant materials finished products uh, how and what right so uh, when we talk about who guidelines uh, it's nothing but world health organization who so the what is the, the world health organization is a specialized agency of united nations which is responsible for the international public health that we all of you know in the head it is headquartered in geneva switzerland and it has six or, uh, regional offices okay so that is the who so you, uh, when we talk about the assessment of uh, herbal medicine what are the objective why we need to assess the herbal medicine so the objective are here the for identifying safe and effective medicines for use of national health care system right so the first objective we can write here the evaluation of quality safety and efficacy of herbal drugs right so ultimately whenever any herbal drug it is being used because it is obtained from natural sources its quality is important because it is not just a food it is for the therapeutic purpose safety it should not have any it should not have any toxic effect any adverse effect its efficacy for what part it is used for anti diabetic anti inflammatory anti malaria that effectiveness should be there in that particular thing that has to be monitored that is the intention second objective it may be it uh, to assist uh, national de- regulatory authorities or maybe to assist the scientific organizations in different types of laboratories central funded or government state government or central government right so those laboratory uh, third objective you may write assessment of uh, documentation for the registration for the supply for the uses submission uh, for uh, the registration or for to, to the regulatory desire so these all those things has to be uh, taken care uh, for that uh, guidelines is also required the medical historical and the ethnological background of medicine that we have to take care regulates what is the medical history of that particular uh, herbal medicine what is the history of that when it plant grown what is the native place uh, what are the ethno uh, ethnological background any traditional use is there or it, it has been used for anti microbial anti inflammatory something so that has to be uh, also monitored marketing authorization also it is going to be taken care and uh, any toxicity profile carcinogenicity teratogenicity all those things has to be uh, monitored then only uh, that's what that is the reason and that is the intention or objective of this particular assessment of herbal medicine right so coming to the first one uh, what has been given into the who side that uh, when we talk about guidelines of or assessment of herbal drug the first thing pharmaceutical assessment this part should cover all important aspects of quality assessment of herbal medicine right so important aspects what are the information supposed to be given for that particular medicine that it has to be there in this part for that reason we are having pharmacopial pharmacopoeia monograph like the herbal pharmacopoeia british herbal pharmacodex uh, all those things if no monograph is available must be supplied by the government or by the particular authority agencies right all procedure should be accordance with the good manufacturing practice gmp accordance it, it is supposed to be there right that is the theme then coming to the crude plant materials when when we are going to use the crude plant material right root stem fruit flower bark extract or that's what organized and unorganized drug which we have completed so in that case uh, uh, the botanical definition supposed to be there this plant is dried root or dried stem or flower uh, bud or maybe latex gum resin what kind of botanical description genus and species like terminalia coriacea glaserhagia glabra eugenia caryophyllus vinca rosea like that and the authority who is the authority should be given in that information is important when we are dealing with the crude plant material as per who to ensure the correct identification of the plant 
we we are supposed to know the first of all the identity is of the plant is very very important so that's what this um, this much information definitely required definition and description of the part of the plant which one you are taking whether leaf it is senna leaf so what is the definition flower root right so what is the description the main uh, raulfia root euthenia somnifera uh, ashwagandha root so those things has to be uh, revealed here fresh dried or traditionally processed when we when uh, it has been processed as a for the herbal medicine uh, we have taken fresh leaf fresh root uh, having with the uh, water molecule or moisture content or dried one it is sun dried or fat dried something dried one or traditionally if in the form of extract or something like that what kind of things has been used that has to be revealed then uh, active and characteristic constituents specified what it is right alkaloid glycoside tannin resin carbohydrate volatile oil what kind of things terpenoid triterpenoid cisquiterpenoid all those things foreign matters impurities microbial content has to be uh, defined for the particular uh, crude plant material plant authentication by botanist right any authentication letter voucher number and that letter should be stored for 10 years until this particular product is or uh, crude plant material is being used lot number has to be assigned and it should be appear on the product right so these are the guidelines uh, for assessment of a uh, herbal drug for crude plant when we uh, go ahead and uh, we discuss about the plant preparation so for that also there is a guidelines given by the world health organization the, there are different types of plant preparation is possible like powdered plant material can be used uh, extract uh, tinctures maybe fatty and essential oils right uh, that's what we have seen and uh, expressed juice right aloe vera juice latex and all those things this has to be uh, gone through the uh, fractionation purification and concentration process right so in that uh, manufacturing process should be described uh, for that particular uh, plant material or uh, plant preparation and uh, added substances has to be described like any uh, coloring agent sweetening agent or apart from active ingredient anything excipient lubricant binder depend on the formulation preparation right then method of identification how we are going to identify that has to be revealed assay of plant preparation how uh, in this particular plant preparation how we are going to assay how we are going to uh, find out that right then chromatographic fingerprint also has to be given if any uh, if any extract is there for example uh, uh, pale cottage extract is there cottage extract so what is there in that uh, tannin so what kind of tannin condensed the tannin or uh, uh, hydrolyzable tannin like that okay then coming to the finished product uh, we can have the uh, further guidelines in the finished product if anything uh, tablet capsule or something ointment cream manufacturing procedure has to be given and what kind of formula is used how much quantity of the things has been added into that amount of excipient has to be revealed method of identification how we are going to identify your finished product uh, what kind of uh, whether chromatography spectroscopic method some or a uh, uh, preliminary identification test that has to be given chromatographic fingerprint for the active principle right if it is uh, uh, opium latex so morphine may be the so morphine is what kind of uh, ketonic group or what kind of functional group it is having so like that for imported uh, so imported products the regulatory status in the country and a who certification scheme on quality has to be revealed right now coming to the stability so when we talk about the stability uh, we can have the uh, physical and chemical stability has to be uh, given containers has to be tested for the particular uh, packing of those herbal medicine defined storage condition has to be revealed what may be the self life of the particular product has to be established and it has to be revealed onto the label right so that is the guidelines given safety assessment when we it comes for the any of the herbal medicine if product used traditionally no specific restriction regulatory action is required like that things should be there review on relevant literature right what is going on in that particular herbal medicine what kind of research has been carried out what kind of uh, literature it is available long term use without any evidence of risk right if it is there so in based on that experience again uh, the thing safety assessment can be revised and uh, reported the side effect uh, at, uh, that has to be uh, documented if anybody is having any kinds of side effect of after consuming that particular herbal medicine that has to be documented properly that is the given by who when we talk about toxicological studies right 
so in that uh, literatures are available and they are be keep on publishing by the different uh, research uh, research article by the journals so that uh, that has to be also uh, revised time to time right apart from that uh, documentation uh, of safety based on experience that also it is there so in that uh, documentation of long period use that that should be there right like it is being used from 2001 to 2023 so that has to be uh, uh, noted down and when no toxicological studies documented experience it will work out it will be helping in future right toxicity data should be submitted if it is there doses specification for that herbal medicine if any misuse abuse that has to be also documented at time to time so that it will be easy for assessment then assessment of safety and intended use right so when we talk about activity so clinical effect is specified for any kind of uh, therapeutic effect the therapeutic property if it is given uh, what kind of things it is be uh, it is for uh, anti-diabetic anti-inflammatory analgesic something like that evidence required to support indications right for that also there are so many research publications uh, uh, it may be available into the different domain like us uh, uh, springer elsewhere science direct and all those things so that will help out help it out right because uh, uh, it is something it will be published uh, when the things it will be reported reported right combination product if you are using so what was the old combination what is the new that also has to be documented then coming to the product uh, information for the consumer so what kind of uh, product information is important by who guidelines name of the product supposed to be the list of active ingredient what are the things that have been used uh, like uh, if it is anti-diabetic formulations what kind of plants has been used what kind of chemical moiety it is there that also has to be revealed and the doses form what is doses form it is powder tincture juice lineman lotion then indications if it is there like doses what kind of dose has to be there mode of administration it is parenteral oral uh, suppository something like that duration of use how frequency morning evening afternoon three time in a day two time in a day adverse effect any kind of side effect like nausea vomiting uh, dizziness something like that overdose information if you take overdose what may it may leads to the liver damage or this damage that damage like contraindications so if you are having any contraindication with any kind of food milk alcohol something like that warning if it is there it has not to be taken with water with milk or something like that right use during pregnancy or lactation it is whether we can use or we cannot use expiry date lot number marketing authorization so these are the information supposed to be there along with the your herbal medicine right when we are that's what uh, so we have discussed uh, the evaluation of crude drugs under that who guidelines for assessment of crude drug right so there are so many information available into the web world uh, in the book but some people they have uh, released uh, some uh, unrelevant matters into the web world uh, and uh, that is not authenticated data actually uh, what who guidelines it is there for assessment of herbal drug that only we have to cover and that only we are supposed to write in exam right so be careful with the content and uh, uh, go with the right content these notes you can take into the telegram so you can find it out in the description thank you